folks. Welcome. Wait. Okay. I had to make sure. That's fine. Hello, folks. Welcome back to Digital Backlog. I'm Shiggy. And I'm Meta. And we definitely lost this episode, so we are replaying it. Unfortunately, we did save after conversation, so we're going to have to recap it for you a little bit. Yeah, so, uh, Shiggy, go ahead. <laughs> All right. So, in that conversation, uh, Lloyd was mentioning that the Kratos that he met. <laughs> yeah, the Kratos. The Kratos. Uh, go out there, maybe there's a chest. Um, he was mentioning that Kratos wore his x sphere out in the open, and he was like, how come I have to cover up mine? And Dirk said, your x sphere is special because you, your mom died trying to protect both it and you, and the designs really want it, and they murdered your mom to get it, so you can't show it to people. And Lloyd got pretty upset, and was like, man, I really want to go get revenge on the designs, and then they argued a bit about whether or not they should make a key crest for Marble at the design ranch. They left pretty mad at each other, <laughs> and that that's where we're at. Dirk is gone? No. Oh, he's at the grave. Oh, yes. He's the Lloyd... Oh, yeah, Lloyd slept because he... Did we already see his friendos? No, not yet. They came... Oh, man, this is a disaster. <laughs> Isn't it just? So no, they did come at night because it was after Lloyd got almost physically abused by his dwarf father. Unfortunately. And they were out right outside listening in. <laughs> and they never addressed it, which is uh wild. Yeah, we had this whole thing going about, wow, it's really messed up. They never addressed Lloyd's parental abuse. <laughs> yeah, it's rough. But, you know, we... Uh, but hey, Dirk's a swell guy, right? Right? <laughs> anyway, we... uh. So there, so Lloyd wants to go help Colette regenerate the world. That's the revenge that he wants. And Colette said, great, meet me at noon in the village. And so Lloyd made her birthday present, which is a bracelet. And he... No, it's a shitty necklace. <laughs> oh, that's right. It's a shitty <laughs> necklace. And he is preparing to go meet Colette in the village at noon as promised. Yes, we talked to Dirk first. Yes. Man, um, I'm sorry yeah. well, we lost all that, guys. Me. Yeah, it's rough. I made a really good joke about figure skating. It was good. No, it wasn't. Oh, hush. It was great. I was proud of it. Aww. <laughs> that makes me sad for you. <laughs> oh, no. You can use it however you like. Just remember did try to stop you. Dad, thanks. Word of involved number two. Never abandon someone in need. Thanks, did we sir. catch all the stuff about the ranch? And yes, okay. I, we got that. <laughs> okay, that was important. It was, because both of our arguably favorite just quotes from this teacher. game were in the same episode, which I found miraculous. That's right. Dad, they both happened. Going to help last Colette time. Last time. <laughs> so really, so uh, what else are you here for? You've seen the best. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, and then I, I said, you, you will stop playing Tales of Symphonia because there's nothing left. And we should really just stop there. <laughs> <laughs> the joke was on us. <laughs> there, there. Look, you got some apple gels and a life bottle and some money. Life is good. Yeah, sitting so pretty. You're forgiving me? Yeah. Now hold on, know. little man. This <laughs> oh no. You're still my son, regardless of blood. Come back here anytime you're tired. I will. Wish me luck. Lloyd, don't ever forget Dwarven Vow number seven. Yeah, it's my favorite Dwarven Vow. Oh no. Goodness and love will always win, right? Maybe we'll get farther in this episode. <laughs> yeah, hopefully. <laughs> than we did last time. We didn't really do anything. Oh my gosh, <laughs> the horrible voice I gave to Frank is lost to time. <laughs> you can do it again. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Huh? What are you doing here? Lloyd, you're still here? Genius! Good timing. I got my dad to make Marvel's key crest. 
Oh yeah, and then I made the joke about how Dirk's just staring at the back of Lloyd's head. Yeah, he's probably <laughs> looking at the little ponytail back there. It does <laughs> grow throughout the game, which is pretty dope, actually. Yeah, that's pretty cute, too. That's great and all. What about seeing Coletta? Yeah, Lloyd. Oh, yeah. About that, I've decided to join her. Are you stupid or something? <laughs> Yes. I love that line. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding, folks. The good lines keep coming. And spoiler alert, they're all geniuses. <laughs> Genus is truly a genius. Oh, no. What? And you thought my figure skating joke was bad. I came looking for you because you never showed up. Well. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. Lloyd, go to the village. No. No. Yeah, no. come on, come on. Even though Coolette's not there, but whatever. It's fine. <laughs> Oh my gosh, in that whole last episode, did we, <laughs> did we really only do this one conversation? No, there was like the one where Lloyd and Colette were chatting up on the Oh, that's right. On the terrace. We lost. Yeah, we lost that too. I, I'm something else. I'm sorry. We already discussed this. What? What we lost. <laughs> Colette said she was leaving at noon. So why did she? She was acting overly cheerful before she left, telling everyone I'll be fine and I'll do my best. I bet she's hiding something. She always acts like that when she's worried or hiding something. Hiding. Hiding. <laughs> Maybe so. I bet Phydra probably knows something. Maybe so. Maybe. <laughs> Oh, hello, Lloyd. Phydra, is it true that Colette already left? Indeed. Did she tell me the wrong time? Colette asked me to No, it was more like, Colette asked me <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but I'm not going to blow my throat out again. The only reason I did that voice is because Frank has, like, no lines, and I was like, I can give him an unsustainable voice. <laughs> yeah, I'm never going to have to voice him again. <laughs> Exactly! <laughs> anyway, <laughs> Colette asked me to give you this letter. <laughs> and you did it anyway. Popular demand. You friggin' maniac. <laughs> <laughs> Dear Lloyd, by the time you read this, I have oh yeah, and then there was the thing where I didn't press the button for a long time because yeah. I didn't know I had to do that. See, we're cutting out all the bad parts, but we're still telling you about it, so really, you still have to suffer. <laughs> I'm sorry for lying to you. I don't think she is. Oh yeah, and then you said that because the Dwarven Vow something is lying is on the road to thievery oh, or something. Oh yeah, he said that lying is on the path, the first step on the path yes, to thievery. Yes, that's the one. Yeah. So then we were like, oh, Colette's going to be a thief. Yeah, which would have been cool, honestly. Let yeah. the girl have a dagger. It's not funny in retrospect, any of these jokes. No, I mean, they were maybe funny in the moment, but rehashing jokes that we did last time is not funny, I agree. <laughs> the world regeneration journey is full of people. Oh, I'm just so sad. I know. I know. I'm trying to I go get past it, like but I can't. Involved. We'll, I'm we'll do, do my it. Best to stop the monsters and the designs. So I want you to live a happy and peaceful life in the regenerated world. You don't really have to separate so out monsters and designs, considering. <laughs> I'm really lucky to have met you. Farewell, Colette. What is this? This almost sounds like a will. Yeah. <laughs> I've already forgotten. Uh, it was like, yes, you could call it that. Perfect, thank you. What do you mean? Lloyd, genius. There is something we hid from you and everyone in the village. Call it. No, the chosen is already. Wow! <laughs> what was that? 
<laughs> doot doodly doot. Oh yeah, and then we went upstairs. Uh huh. <laughs> and then I went to read the book. No. <laughs> This was a mistake. Huh. I wonder if any of these books are hiding some hint about regenerating the world. What about this one? The Teachings of Martell. Let's see. Chapter 1. Okay. I'm not going to do it again. Thank you. Seriously, Lloyd? Oh, no. That was the only good part. Ugh. You went up there, and now you're <laughs> acting like I forced you to go up there. <laughs> oh no, that random house with nothing in. See, this is what happens when Lloyd keeps the sorcerer's ring. <laughs> yeah, gosh. Actually, I think that you could go in there as like a shop before all this, but... Oh no, we oh. save here. Yeah, you should save, because... You know your boy Forsyth's just gonna do some bad shit. Oh, I love Forsyth's this. Yeah. <laughs> Did you want to be no. this design? You go ahead and be this design. <laughs> Burn! Burn! Look, more survivors. Kill them! Kill all the miserable worms! I like how that design is definitely the mayor from Ooblets. <laughs> You'll pay for this. <laughs> Best voice line you've delivered, all that. <laughs> Don't forget to Demon Fang. How could I forget? No, never forget. I think I have Sonic throws. Yeah, you do. Nice. Hell yeah. Just warming up. No grade for that. Tisk tisk. Oh, I guess I didn't do a good job. No. I don't think we previously discussed the grade system, but now is not the time. No, now is plot time. Oh boy. He's present. <laughs> he speaks nonsense, ignore it. Listen Just look at those views. thighs. This now that's a leg of chicken. <laughs> this game does really like thighs. Right? They love texturing them legs. Dem gams. Dude. Do you think they just took the texture from Kratos' like, <laughs> leggings and threw it on Forcistas? I think it's reused. I mean, it's possible. It is. I mean, either way, it's looking mighty good, even if muscles absolutely do not work like that. <laughs> I mean, they've had to, like, vacuum seal his legs and he has to show weird, that much muscle definition. A weird crease above his kneecap, because that's where that muscle goes. <laughs> I am a superior half-elf who rules over the farm where we cultivate pathetic humans. Half-elf? Lloyd! That is what he said, good job. I mean, look at that hair. It's good hair. And all those belts. <laughs> They're good belts. He's got an eye patch. Eye patches are... They've grown on me over the years. Same here. I used to think they were stupid, but... They're pretty cool. Right? Sometimes you have to just... <laughs> <laughs> dry rate <laughs> erratically. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> they must be after the chosen. Hey, are you saying you aren't the ones that attacked Colette? I have no need to explain myself to the likes of you. Get him for Zeus. <laughs> Sick bird. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with his waist, though. Uh, like, he's got like half a tail coat. <laughs> yes, he does. But then, also, like, he dressed himself in the dark. <laughs> right, I like that he did this dramatic flare tailcoat, but then he put on, like, a half jacket on top of it, so it just really muddies the... the... He just wanted to show off how little his waist is. <laughs> He's doing a corset with belts. What have you done? How Oh man, I love this part because there's definitely voice actors who are just the the main party but reused as villagers, oh, and yeah. they're kind of trying to hide it, but you can definitely tell. It's like, oh, that person was definitely Colette. 
I mean, not the mayor, but coming up. <laughs> the mayor was <laughs> up. Hey, that would be some pretty good talent, right? There. That would be voice acting. <laughs> <laughs> not that we have any room to throw shade. No. <laughs> Thing. Now, receive your punishment. I love when a weirdo with a whip tells me to. Re I'm just kidding. Oh. Damn. <laughs> he had to take a seat. <laughs> yeah. Boy, I'll help too. You'd fucking better. It's your fault in the first place, Genus. <laughs> Genus. Right, Genus. Demon just Demon, Demon fang. fang it. Demon yeah, this is how you win the game. Uh, yeah. Demon Fang. Demon Fang. Even if it is audio hell. Demon fang. Demon fang. Demon oh, I ran out of MP. Well, oh. But you know what we do when that happens. Oh, no. Because we drink an orange gel. Not or saving fang. that for... <laughs> oh, he doesn't get it. <laughs> Go hit it. Yes, silly. Nice. Yeah, I'm kind of a master. Yeah. At this. Oh, oh. <laughs> Oh, I didn't even jump. Actually, I don't know if that's a skill that you have to equip. Oops. Nice. No. Oh, 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 here's what, what it's What is it doing? You just get out of here. Right. You have Genius. 20. Oh, I did jump. Nice. There you go. <laughs> When Genus is just like, I'm gonna hit this Eldritch Horror with a Kendama and pray. <laughs> Take this! Like, my, my, my sweet baby boy, you can absolutely do a magic. I gave him so many demon fangs. It just wasn't enough. You were just a few demon fangs short. <laughs> At least I got lots of apple gels. Yeah. Well, it's a few demon fangs short of a casserole. <laughs> oh. Oh, no. Rude. Terrible monster. Why would you do this? <laughs> That's mean. That's extremely mean. Oh. Oh, oh God, Genus almost sorry. died. <laughs> genus, you idiot. No, he's a genius. That's... That's ironic. <laughs> it must be the one from the Angelus project that we've been searching for. Ah, uh, yes. Forced exposition. They love... This is doing that. <laughs> you don't need to move your mouth for that, Lloyd. Nope, just go, ah. He's so angry. <laughs> He's transcended. <laughs> what are you talking about? Your mother was... My mother. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> Run away, Venus Lloyd. Plot twist. Well, what was that voice? <laughs> Sounded Lloyd like can't believe it. <laughs> Top ten things that shock Lloyd. Number seven will surprise you. It can't be. Oh, oh, oh. Get away. Just want to give Forcistus some cuddles. Yeah, just yes. hug Forcistus. You are like a grandson to me. Thank you. <laughs> All the designs just aren't very concerned. No, they're like, eh, Forsyth is kind of a dick. We can let him get wrecked. <laughs> like, there's that one in the background with a crossbow gun that could actually do something about this. Right. <laughs> no. Oh, okay, now protect Lord for Caesar. Uh, we were gonna protect him all along. I yeah, swear. Definitely. Always come after you as long as you possess that X sphere. Always. Oh, so romantic. Oh. I hate when they queer me. <laughs> <laughs> no, we talked over the no. <laughs> People just need to understand that they should play this game solely for Genus's voice acting. Marble! No! 
There, we re recreated it for everyone. Good. Oh. Oh, that sucks. Someone lives there. Sorry. The other voice actors. <laughs> ah, yes. It's time. You think you can At some point, it's right around here. The designs marked you as their enemy. Look at that angry little cute girl. <laughs> Nothing else has changed about her face, but she got the angriest yeah. <laughs> eyebrows. As long as you are here, this village will never be at peace. Do you understand? Wait a minute. You're going to exile him? Yes. He doesn't even live here. <laughs> and he doesn't pay attention in school, so it's not like he needs to come here. Right? He doesn't even want to be here. That's not fair! Lloyd didn't do anything wrong! He just saved Marvel! Lloyd did nothing wrong! Hashtag <laughs> Lloyd did nothing wrong. Also, he did not save Marvel. Marvel is decidedly not <laughs> saved. She did, in fact, explode. I mean, I guess he saved her in that he killed her so she didn't have to be a horrible monster. <laughs> Yeah, all right. Except for she exploded herself, so she saved herself. No Look, Genus is confused. Yeah, that's true. So it's okay to let people die at the human ranch as long as the village is safe. Yeah, you tell them, Genus. It's about time someone said it. The people at the ranch are just going to rot there anyway. Yep. That's wow, Colette. Colette. <laughs> that's a hot take. <laughs> yes. Had you not done something so stupid? I just realized that the that the bar goes across the little... The bar? Yeah, on the chat box. It goes across the little divot that goes to the person, but they just made it real, oh, real gentle. Yeah. Real <laughs> transparent. <laughs> that is interesting. <laughs> yeah. You humans are all the same. Racist! Oh. That's enough, Genus. This was my fault. Yeah, you oh, human who is all the same. Sure yeah. so strict a child. Oh, hi, Rain. What are you saying? Do you realize how many people died here because of him? <laughs> <laughs> that one gets me so much. This is just, just slightly lower. Right, it's clearly Lloyd pitching his voice down a little. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Lloyd doesn't want to go to school, so he's throwing his voice like, What are you doing? <laughs> he's such a great ventriloquist. He is, he's really good. But it's Lloyd the desires are after. And besides, Lloyd isn't from this village to begin with. He's an outsider, raised by a dwarf. Yeah. We hate people who are raised by dwarves. <laughs> yeah, I mean, dwarves are horrible and physically abusive. I mean, there is only one Jeez. dwarf, and that is our representation. There's another dwarf. Yeah, he's not great either. <laughs> Let's be real. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. By the rights vested in me as mayor, I hereby announce the banishment of Lloyd and Genus from the village of Isera. Oh, Genus was just getting uppity because he also wanted to be exiled. Yeah, Genus didn't want to get left out. He was like, I did just as terrible things as Lloyd. <laughs> get out, get out, get I'm out. sorry for causing you trouble. If you feel that way, please catch up to the Chosen. Yeah, now we can go find and be like, hey, so, uh, <laughs> things didn't go well back there. Dude, I don't think he ever tells her that the village burned down. I don't think they ever address it. Oh. Well, we'll see. We'll see if he admits that he he got the village burned to a crisp. <laughs> I think you might be right, though. I don't remember that. Right? And they do come back later, and the mayor's not like, Genus, get the fuck out. It's like, right. you can just walk in, and it's like, so about that exile. <laughs> I'm sure Colette would want that as well. That's not Frank's voice. That was Kratos. <laughs> it had to have been. Right? It sounded a little bit like him. <laughs> that's just Kratos in a Frank skin. I <laughs> know. That's so awkward. Yes, I will atone for what I've done. You didn't even do anything. Right, I Gina's did it. You're just kind of an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess it establishes Lloyd as a bleeding heart. <laughs> it's my fault that you were banished. Yeah, yeah let's not forget that Genus. Right, it has always been Genus's fault. Everything so is Genus's fault. 
Hashtag Genus did everything wrong. Use that X yeah. That's Marvel's memento. Okay. 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 I'll explain to you on how to use the key crest later. I do like Looks like it's that they day. have a reason for him to already have a key crest so that they can just give it to Genus and be like, whoop, done. That's true. Like, yeah. They justify a lot of cool things in the narrative with minor things that you don't think will become anything, and I'm into that. Yeah, and I think we should call it here, because we've gone a little over, but I wanted to get through that plot stuff. Yeah. Thank you for joining us and for dealing with our horrible, horrible voices, mostly mine. Yeah, and sorry for losing the episode, but, but it happens. It happens. It happens to the best of us. Yeah. Anyway, next time on Digital Backlog, we will see you for something completely different, but we will Will we? Be. We're not going to play more Tales? We will, but the episode after this will be not Tales of Symphonia. Oh. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, man. It'll Can be... you guys believe it? What will it be? <laughs> Who even knows? Anyway, like, comment, subscribe, and we will catch you on the flip side. Bye. Have a good day.